Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Many people think that acids and bases are very dangerous. Kasi nga naman, kapag ang muriatic acid, which is a common cleaner, ay nalagay sa skin nyo, it is very dangerous and it may cause burns o maaring masunog ang inyong balat and it may look like this. But did you know that your favorite citrus fruits just like oranges and lemons also contain an acid called citric acid? Let's get to know more about acids and bases in our episode for today. Both acids and bases are among the most important solutes in solution. At dahil na-encounter natin sila sa ating daily needs, we need to determine the difference between acids and bases. Let's start with acids. Acids are typically sour o maasim. They form solutions that conduct electricity and they react with bases to form salt and water. How will I know if a substance is acid? I will share two tips. First, kung meron kang substance, just like this citrus fruit, if the blue litmus paper turns to red, that substance is an acid. Acid changes the color of litmus paper from blue to red. Another tip para malaman kung acid bang isang substance is by looking at the chemical formula. Most acids ay may hydrogen or H sa beginning o sa simula. Meron tayong two types of acids. Yung inorganic acids, meron silang hydrogen sa simula. On the other hand, organic acids have carbon and hydrogen sa kanilang start. Para mas maintindihan natin, let's take a look at some examples. Here are some inorganic acids in our surroundings. Remember, inorganic meron silang H. We have carbonated drinks or soft drinks. These have carbonic acid, which has the chemical formula. Notice nyo meron H sa simula. Next, we have hydrochloric acid which is used as a toilet bowl cleaner and for cleaning metal surface. It has a formula HCl. Diba merong siyang H sa simula? Next, another inorganic acid is nitric acid. It is used for making fertilizers and explosives. If you can notice, its chemical formula H2NO3 also has hydrogen in the beginning. Alamin naman natin kung ano yung mga organic acids in our surroundings. Yung ating clue dito ay meron silang CH simula na kanilang chemical formula. We have vinegar. Vinegar contains acetic acid which has a chemical formula C2H4O2. Meron siyang hydrogen and a carbon. Another organic acid is ascorbic acid. Yung nakikita natin sa mga vitamins that we take para mas mapalakas ang ating immune system. Ascorbic acid has a chemical formula C6H8O6. Again, meron siyang carbon and hydrogen. Ang ating indicator if it is an organic acid. Another example is yung mga citrus fruits just like this lemon. It is an organic acid which is used to flavor food and drinks and is also used as a preservative. It has a chemical formula C6H8O7. 
Tapos na tayo sa ating acids. Munta naman tayo sa bases. Bases, taste bitter, slippery, and soapy. And they react with acids to form salt and water. How will I know if a substance is base? We will use the same method that we did when determining acids. If we have a substance, just use a red litmus paper. And if the red litmus paper turns to blue, that substance is a base. Or we can also look at the chemical formula. Most bases, again, I will emphasize most bases, and in OH or hydroxide. Here are some examples of base in our surroundings. First, we have antacid o yung panlaban sa hyperacidity. An antacid is made up of aluminum hydroxide and other substances. Aluminum hydroxide is used as an antacid with no dosage restriction. And it is also used in colorfast fabrics and water purification. Ano ba yung chemical formula ng aluminum hydroxide? We have AlOH3. Di ba? Meron siyang OH sa dulo. Ano ba yung base sa leather? Leather has calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is for leather making, mortar and plaster, and it lessens the acidity of soil. Let's check kung ano yung chemical formula ng calcium hydroxide. The chemical formula is CaOH2. Again, meron siyang OH. Another example of a base is soap or yung soft soap. Ano ba yung meron dito? Ano ba yung base dito? We have potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide is used in making soft soap, fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides. Ano yung chemical formula? We have K. OH. Next, we have detergents or yung mga sabong panlaba, which uses sodium hydroxide. It is used in making soap, detergents, textiles and paper, oven cleaner, and drain cleaner. Commonly, ginagamit ito sa panlinis ng mga bagay-bagay sa bahay natin. Ano yung chemical formula? We have NaOH. Next, we have fertilizer. Ano ba yung nasa fertilizer? We have ammonia. Ammonia is also a base. Pero tingnan nyo, ano ba yung chemical formula ng ammonia? It is NH3. Baka magtanong kayo, Ma'am, bakit base yung ammonia e wala naman siyang OH o hydroxide? We will find out sa continuation ng video na ito. But for now, let's have a quiz first. It's quiz time! Para ma-wrap up natin ang topic na ito at para malaman natin kung may natutunan ba kayo sa ating video. I will give you 3 minutes and after that time, we will check if your answers are correct.
Let's check if your answers are correct. We will identify whether the substance or characteristic belongs to acid or base. Number 1. Bitter and soapy. This belongs to base. Kasi yung acid, sour o maasin. Number 2. Soft or carbonated drinks just like your favorite cola. This is an acid kasi meron siyang carbonic acid. Number 3. Antacids. Antacids contain aluminum hydroxide which is a base. Number 4. Orange which is an example of a citrus fruit which contains citric acid. This is an acid of course. Number 5. Turns blue litmus paper to red. This is a characteristic of an acid. Let me check your scores over 5. Kindly comment it in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!